I'm Yush Jake with my review of the Busby Snipe. And this is a new version packaged with a red dot sight, also known as a reflex sight, in a red finish that has a textured matte uh, finish to the uh, plastic and red paint scheme. Now I have uh, just unboxed this, tried it out a little bit, and wanted to give a quick opinion because I feel like I can do a full review of this due to the fact that I have had snipes for years. I, I rate these as one of my favorite blasters ever, so I am biased. New version comes out in my personal favorite color, which red is my personal favorite. It comes out in my favorite color with what I think is a better look and feel to it and comes out with my favorite darts included in the package. Yes, I'm going to be I'm going to be pretty happy with that. And the other snipe that's currently available is the blue snipe. And so I will do a couple of direct comparisons. The blue snipe, the plastic is a glossy finished plastic with the blue and no texturing done on most of the surfaces. The snipe is actually on here. This is not a sticker like Busby is known for on either version. Both versions are currently available and like you see the sticker on the magazine here. Both of these actually have the word snipe in and while the blue has a little swish underneath, this actually has a crosshair pattern. Let's get in there close and let you see that. And the neat thing is that you may see there's no shine hardly to this blaster. It has a, a nice textured finish. You can probably hear that. And that's nice. I, I actually like that. It's more of a matte finish, tones it down a little bit, like makes it look a little less toyish, but it's still obviously a, a toy. <laughs> Let's keep that in mind. But it gives it a more classy look to it, I feel. And the red dot sight is a neat attachment. It has a rubberized protector over the switch and it is a push button, not a sliding switch, which is nice. And they have placed the red dot to where if you're looking through it level with the red dot on, the red dot is noticeable at the lower part of the screen. And it has a pattern of a crosshair on, which you have to tilt up to get that red dot in the middle of. And that's a neat thing, because a lot of times if you're taking a long range shot with a blasters outdoors in your backyard, like saying shooting all the way across the yard, you're gonna have to angle it up to hit somebody. And that's like that's already kind of predetermined. And I'm going to have to ang angle it up like this, and bam. But it takes two double A's to power up your sight. I don't think that's the best thing for this. I honestly think I'll be taking this off. Because whether you use sights or not, I do think that that looks better. Just personal taste. I will probably find another scope. Here's actually the scope that comes with, uh, this comes with the Predator, the Interceptor, and a couple other blasters. I honestly think that looks a little small. Actually, quite small. <laughs> that one doesn't work either. The scope that they sent with other snipes looks the best. I'd love to be able to see, uh, I'd love to see Busby sell like an optics kit. You know, all their different optics. Like sell the, uh, sell the scope that comes here with the snipe. Sell, sell it in, mixed in with this, the red dot sight and the thermal sight, like a pack of four. I could picture them doing that. But as is, what you get is a blaster that will hit over 100 feet per second with the included precise pro darts. You can probably see here on my workbench beside me, I have been doing some chronograph testing. I fired 20 shots through the chronograph and I was averaging 100 to 102.8. That, that's dead on. 101 or 100.1 was my low shot with precise pros and 102.8 was my high shot. Do the math there out of 20 shots. That's pretty reliable. I had a couple misreads that went way high, then I eliminated those from my statement, and I also had one that went way low. Refired the whole magazine, that's two mags fired through the chronograph, so I'm pretty, com pretty comfortable and confident in saying that. My chronograph read between 100 to 102.8, so that's an average of 101.4. That is potent for a stock blaster, but that's not absurd considering the fact that these do improve performance. Firing Nerf Elite Darts, I had an average of 86 feet per second, which is right in line with what the older Busby Snipes did, the green version like I have I have it off, just hanging off of my uh, blaster coat rack over here off to the, the side of the screen. And it with the older Busby Suction Cup Darts 
shot at about 87 feet per second. Put in precise pros to any of the snipes, and again, they all fired at about 100 feet per second or so without being modified. No longer can say that about either the green one or the blue one, both have been modified. This is my only stock one now. But this blaster, if you're an adult or a teenager, it will fit you well. You have a large grip that's very comfy. You have a stock that is good enough. It's truly shaped and sized like a stock. It's not undersized. There's nothing, nothing funky about it. And it just feels good. They give you a nice front grab point and everything works very smoothly to prime and fire. Yes, you have to remove your actual uh, firing hand and no, if you're left-handed, that's not going to be as good because then you're going to take your braced hand and use it. But all in all, it works. They could have made maybe the bolt come off and put a slot on the left side so that it could be totally ambidextrous. Eh, just, just a thought, Busby, if you uh, take note of this. Possibly put a slot on the other side of, of the shelf and make it to where the bolt can flip around and be mounted over here as well. Just a thought. But the fact is, I picked this thing up for $15. Plus, you know, plus shipping and tax, of course. I picked it up through Fleet Farm, and I'll put a link in the description below. And the quick summary of this blaster is, it's a 100 feet per second blaster firing the included darts, which are the precise pros, available uh, in the red or in the blue. Blue comes with the long distance darts and the different scope instead of red dot. So color and optics and darts are different. Again, red with precise pros with a red dot sight. Blue comes with the scope and long distance darts. However, either choice gets you a very high performing blaster, no matter what darts you're using. 85 feet per second is well above and beyond anything Nerf is currently making, and that is a noticeable difference. You're firing in your backyard, that means you will probably be able to level your shots out, boom, get somebody within, with a dart in seconds, whereas they're going to have to be firing their retaliator up in the air, angled like this, and you're going to be able to go duck and dodge it. They won't have that choice because you're going to hit them with what seems like a high velocity shot. And that's what the Snipe excels at. Its name. Sniping. It's very good at it. It's comfy. It's big. This is not for an eight year old unless they're oversized. That is its drawback. This is a big blaster. It's not heavy, but it's comfortable for somebody who say is a little bigger or is an adult playing with the kids like I do. This thing is my number one favorite blaster. If it's a Springer, this one or the uh, Thermal Hunter or Interceptor, those are my favorite blasters of all time for Springers. So I am heavily biased and I give this a complete thumbs up. You got $23 because I, I bought mine for $22.99 at Kmart in the blue. Or currently now $14.95 or $14.99 on FleetFarm.com for the red. And then plus I think it was about $7 shipping to where I'm located. So again, about $22, $23 for either version. I'll put links to both of them below. I give a 100% recommendation on this blaster, and I feel like this is one of the few blasters that I literally have nothing bad to say about. You might have to cut the shell a little bit to make it work with Nerf drums, but it will hurt. It will fit. It will fit a Nerf or I'm gonna grab another magazine back here off of my Walking Dead M16. This is a aftermarket Omeo magazine. Fits in no problem and looks good as well in that clear. So magazine compatibility is across the board. You might have to actually take a X-Acto knife or a Dremel, cut out a little bit of the shell to fit the Nerf drums, but this is not a Nerf blaster. It was made for all magazines, but the drums are a little special because they have a flare to them. But, but this is Mongoose Jake showing the Busby Snipe and giving my full 100% recommendation that you should buy this if at all you're into the hobby of flinging foam around with family, friends, or even if you're competitive. Because this can do it all. Just keep in mind, bolt action on the right hand side. And if you're fine with that, this is a blaster that you should consider. This is Mongoose Jake. Hope you enjoy this.